I look at myself with a kind of a DIY mentality. So I like to do as much as I can myself in life. So whether that's, um, you know, fixing things that are broken at home or, um, you know, roasting my own coffee beans, for example, or, you know, even with my photography, rather than just snapping a digital camera, I like to do the traditional process with film and develop the film and make the prints and, and do all that. So I like to take that longer path. And it, some people might say, yeah, but you know, it takes you so much longer to do a particular thing, but you get so much more enjoyment out of the process than you do out of just getting the result. Um, and I think a lot of people miss that these days. They're all, always after that instant gratification, but it, yeah, I think life's more about the journey rather than the destination, because um, if we focus on that, then we'll all be just dead, right? <laughs> my journey through my life, and I've come through so much, you know, I've been a victim of domestic violence. I've, I think all the, the tragedies and all the, the the stuff in my life that I've been through has made me fight even more harder to better myself and to, you know, so that I don't wallow in, in the, you know, the, 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 the past. I just got to think about the future and, and have, you know, to, because I want something better for my life. So I wanted something better. And my, one of my wishes, you know, I used to dream about it was owning a brand new car. And I've driven two brand new cars off the showroom floor because of that, you know. And I'd love to own my own home, so down the track maybe. And, you know, this book may be the start because I'd love to turn it into a movie or something. What makes me me? You know what makes me me? Really probably my mum and dad. And they're dead. Uh, but the way I was just thinking about them today, I was just thinking about the energy level, I was just thinking about the fight for social justice, about caring for the world. And I thought, gosh, you know, my mum and dad were fantastic. They were just fantastic. And I think they made me work hard. They made me believe in myself. And I was very, very lucky. And I have a gorgeous second family, you know, and a husband who absolutely believes in me, grandson who loves me, a daughter who thinks I'm the A1 mum. You know, it's nice. It's, um, I think family makes you. My culture, my identity, my existence of just being who I am and why I am today. And I have a tattoo that I created and it's the four little dots is my grandparents, my moral beliefs, my family and friends and my workmates. All them make who I am and that is my protector and he's always walking forward so I'm saying what makes me me is that without them I wouldn't be who I am today so that's what makes me me. You get your belief systems, you get your ways of doing things from your family, your parents, the way you were brought up as you get older and mature sometimes um, you develop your own thought processes and that is based on your experiences in life. Um, if you've grown up in a small town and then you've moved to a big town, when you go back to that small town it's going to look different. Um, it's, y your life experiences shape the person that you are. So what makes me me is everything that's happened from when I was born up to this point. Good, bad, indifferent, um, they've all been experiences that I've had, um, some of them good, some of them bad, some of them happy, sad, everything, but it's all worked towards creating me. You, I, are a, I what? A distilled version of all your past experiences, all your life. I have an accent uh, that came from the people I grew up with. Um, and it was a rough and tumble place. But you are a, a distilled version of what's happened to you up to now, up to today, I think. I don't remember when the first night you were. And how boring it was. And how you had to go every day. So they look for outlets and for more interesting jobs. But I think you are part and parcel of what your mum and dad gave to you. And then what your environment has put in there and what your own experiences have put in there. And unless you're very special, you'll remain within that, um, 
what would you call entity? That's you. I also, I think, have got a very strange idea about time. Most people think of time as being linear. Um, even from a very small girl, I've always thought of um, time existing together, but we simply experience it in a linear way. Um, I find it very difficult to actually think of myself because I know that in five minutes' time I will be different just as I was ten minutes ago because five minutes ago I actually had a good idea, and which, which means I, I'm now, I'm now a, a different person. Um, I've never watched myself on TV. I've never watched a film of myself. I, I, I would find that deeply, deeply weird. So what makes me me, I don't know. But then again, I don't even really think what I am um, is permanent. Um, as I said, the person who began this answer is not the person who's ending it. <laughs> oh dear. What makes me me? I, especially as I get older, I become ever more conscious of just how important my family formation was, the way in which I was raised, the, the religious background. I mean, my parents would, I think I'd say, particularly my mother, devout without being conservative Catholics. Um, but, but Catholicism was taken for granted and, and shaped everything really. It shaped the, our education, it shaped our family life, it shaped our, uh, our sense of morality, uh, it shaped our sociability, who we mixed with um, in, in Australia at that time, back in the, the 1970s and, and, and 80s. Um, so I'm very conscious, I think, of just how important family upbringing is. My background was Italian, my parents were born in Australia but all four of my grandparents were born in Italy and I suppose I've become more and more aware again of the distinctiveness of that background. I mean I've always regarded myself as an Australian, I don't speak Italian, I've only been there a handful of times but I'm aware I think of, of just the, the difference, the distinction um, of that kind of upbringing in that kind of environment. The, the family history I think that was the family stories that sat there um, stories of, of the Second World War, for instance, and, and my grandparents being enemy aliens and all that that meant. And, and, and I think that as I, as I become older, I become more and more conscious of, um, I suppose, the way I'm shaped by that and, and sometimes how little I've been able to, to reshape it. So, you know, we become different, we, we do, we make choices about our lives, but you know, in so many ways, I, I remain a product, I think, of that, of that family background and that upbringing in a particular place, Melbourne of the 1970s, the northern suburbs, the, this utterly ethnic place that, that was totally dominated by Italians and increasingly by Greeks. And, 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 and that, that world has shaped the way I look at the world in, 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 in dozens and dozens of ways.